so in this problem, we're going to shoot a bullet straight up. And the bullet is going to leave the gun with a velocity of 270 meters per second. And the question is, how high will the bullet go? Well, we have to talk about what's happening here in terms of energy. At the bottom, where, you know, you could consider this the ground. You can just kind of decide where that's at in physics. So our potential energy is going to be equal to zero. And we're going to have a lot of kinetic energy. By the time we get up here, what has happened to that kinetic energy? Because we know at apogee, for a split second, the, the bullet's going to stop. So when it stops, the kinetic energy up here is equal to zero. So potential was zero here, kinetic's equal here. So what happens? All of this kinetic will turn into potential energy. So in other words, the kinetic energy at the bottom will be equal to the potential energy at the top. So we gotta write equations for that. All right, kinetic energy is mv squared divided by two. Let's solve for that kinetic energy first. So we have a mass of, the bullet has a mass of 0 0.01 kilograms. All right, so we know that, so 0 0.01 kilograms. We know the velocity when it comes out is 270. And our kinetic energy is, so we get on the top here, we've got, we'll keep the 0 0.01. 270 squared is, big number, 72900. Zero, zero divided by two, and if we throw that in our calculator, we get 364.5 meters per second. All right, so that is, or meters per second, joules. Oh my goodness gracious, terrible, joules. All right, so that was our kinetic energy down here. That's going to become our potential energy up here, that apogee at the highest point. So, if at the top, our potential energy is 364.5 joules, we could say our potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. So our mass is 0 0.01, G is 9.8, we don't know our height, and our potential energy was 364.5. So we have 364.5 equals 0 0.01 times 9.8, h. So now we can do math. So we're going to divide by this and divide by this. Um, we're going to divide 364.5 by 0 0.01 and then we're going to divide by 9.8 and we're going to get our answer. Um, which comes out to a height of 3719.4 meters, which is pretty extraordinary and I don't think accurate, which means Ms. Story probably made up some part of this problem. Um, I'm betting it's the mass of the bullet, but that just seems real big to me. Anyway, that's the answer. Oh, my computer just screwed up there. Box it up. It's physics Christmas or put it in a weird shape like that. All right, great.